Окей, okay. good afternoon, добрый день, ассаламу алейкум, хурматли келетек талабалар, хурматли аутаналар, хурматли шу тим университеты, очек куны хатнашчилары. Добрый день, уважаемые участники от, от дней открытых дверей университета тим. Uh, good afternoon, dear participants of the Open Days of the Team University. We are welcoming you on this Open Day event, and we hope this event will be helpful for all of you. So we will enjoy this next one, one and a half hour. And uh, I see some of you already start addressing the question, and I hope I will manage, not me only, but uh, Uh, my colleagues as well, uh, they will uh, manage to answer all your questions. And uh, today it's not only me who with you, it is also uh, colleagues of mine, Alan Franz, hello Alan, uh, and uh, Camila, uh, our marketing manager, she is also with us. And also some of the colleagues, they will uh, join us uh, now or a bit later as well. So the purpose of today uh, Open Door event to talk with you, to uh, answer your questions, okay? Uh, probably some of you will need some advices as well. So we will try to give some advice Uh, and uh, I hope it will be useful. So uh, let me start from the, uh, the first question. So as Isbek Yudashev address us the question. Uh, by the way, yeah, the rules for today. Uh, if you want to ask the question, so you have a two uh, options how to do it. One of them, you could raise your hand. So I will see in a list of a participant, those who are raising the hand, So I will let you ask the question so you can do it live. Uh, the, another option is you, can, you could send it through the chat. So you can write the question or the comment and I will go through this comment uh, later on. Okay, so um, so far no, uh, no any raised hands. So I will start from the questions which arrive Uh, to the chat and I will answer on the language the question addressed. So if you ask on the Russian or Uzbek or English, uh, the question will be uh, replied in the uh, same language. So the Azizbek Yuldashev are asking us, when you will start sending unconditional offers? Uh, thank you Azizbek uh, for asking this question. Uh, we currently at the final stage of uh, checking those applicants who already applied to us. So what we are planning to do Monday, we will have a big serious meeting. Okay. After this meeting, we will finalize the list of the first uh, happy applicants whom Team University ready to give a unconditional offers. So we hope by the midnight of a Monday, we will finalize these uh, unconditional offers. And then uh, our uh, mail system will start to send uh, the unconditionals to those uh, first batch of uh, applicants. So <clears throat> I hope that by Tuesday, uh, you will start to receive unconditional offers and it will be like a keep going. So it will not be just Tuesday. So the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on and so on. So uh, batch after batch, so it will be like on the stages. Uh, please regularly check your email address, check your spam folder as well, because there is a risk that uh, your mail provider will put your, this message to the spam folder. So please, uh, please check your emails and you will receive the email with the unconditional offer. So after which you will need to go through the instruction, which, is, which will be indicated uh, over there, okay? Uh, next question is uh, from Sherzot. 
But before looking to the question, let me see if anyone raised the hands. None. Okay. Then again, I'm reminding you, if you want to address the live question, okay, you could address it in Uzbek or Russian or English. It's up to you. Uh, so I, we will uh, reply to your uh, question as well. Uh, so far, no any live questions. So we're coming back to the chat. Shirzot Arimov asking, what are benefits of a registration without IELTS and then resubmitting form with the entering your certificate? Or there is no difference between registering beforehand and registering after receiving IELTS? Okay, Shirzot. Uh, we regularly receiving this kind of a question. Uh, if you uploading your application without the IELTS, but with the confirmation that you are registered for the IELTS exam, from uh, one perspective, first of all, you indicating your interest to the university. So the university knows that you are applying for it. Okay, so we are putting you in the list of uh, applicants. So we can go to you for the further communication. The second of all is, uh, uh, the second of all is, uh, if you need to upload uh, your IELTS later on, you will be already in the list of applicants who apply before those who will apply later. Why this is important? Because uh, at the end, when the number of seats will be already limited and this period will come soon. So there will be like a, uh, some kind of a competition in this term, okay? Next one is those who are uploading without the aisles, we actually approaching them, we sending the message or we calling them and we trying to provide you some advice advice in order to not to wait until your exam will happen. What we see because of the uh, external situation with the coronavirus, COVID-19, the, uh, the uh, isolation postponing and postponing. So currently we see there is a risk that the face-to-face -face exams which was uh, rescheduled by IELTS centers to the August will also will not be able to, uh, so the centers, they will not be able to help these exams. So which creates a lot of risks. So that's why what we are doing now, we readdressing those applicants who are waiting and they're feeling the stress. So we are readdressing them to the alternative uh, exam, online exam. So that's why, so applying to us gives you the, some benefits in terms of a staying in a queue, but also it, it gives you the benefit that we can contact with you and we can provide you with some of the um, support, some of the advice. So uh, that's why, so uh, Shirzot, if you uh, applying earlier, so you can uh, get some benefits out of it. Okay, so uh, now let me see if anyone raised their hands to ask the live question. Uh, Please. Okay, Timur, uh, uh, well, you already unmute yourself, so ask the question. Uh, good morning, mister, uh, good day, mister. Uh, okay, good, good afternoon, Timur. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my question is uh, when the uh, entrance exams will uh, be. Okay. So, Timur, uh, probably uh, you didn't get the message. There is no entrance exam to Team University for this year. No any exam. Okay. Uh, Okay. okay, I see, but I have recently registered for the university and uh, now I am the student of Team University, right? No. Look, uh, you submit your application that you want to be a Team University student, okay? Yes. And the university asks you to provide some supporting documents. 
okay? Mm -hmm. One of these that you complete your high or your school or college or lyceum, okay? This is IT stat. Another thing is a proof of your level of your English, which could be IELTS certificate or yeah, some this. other certificates, okay? If you already got it, you apply for it. So starting from the next week, so I, I said it earlier, so starting from the late Monday, so in the Monday we have a big meeting, serious meeting, which will decide and put the first name of a students, those who already apply, those who meeting the criteria. So we will start to send them to their uh, uh, emails, unconditional offer, okay? If you mm -hmm. already apply, then you need to check regularly your email uh, box starting from the late Monday or Tuesday morning, let's say. So why? Because there is a, some procedure. We will make the list. The list will be confirmed. Then we will pass it and the system will start to send one by one emails to those applicants who is confirmed and they will get their unconditional offer. Okay, I see. And now I have to wait uh, for an email, yes, right? Yes, right you are. You need to wait for email. Uh, okay, I see. Thank you very much for the answer. Okay, thank you. Please mute yourself and let us move to the others. Who else wants to ask the question? I'm reminding you so you could ask the question not only in English, but you could ask in Uzbek or Russian. So we are free to use any language in our open door sessions. If there is no question, no raise hands, then let me move to the question which was addressed uh, in a chat. <clears throat> so, uh, Muhammad Aliyev asking question. I have applied to the team university and got a message informing that my registration was considered as complete but I haven't received any more information about the next steps. Could you give me the information about the next steps? Okay, thank you, Muhammad, uh, for the question. So actually, uh, there is a confirmation type of emails, which is sent automatically by a system. When you're completing the uploading the documents, it send us. So the email which you think about probably this kind of email. Another type of email is the information emails. So we send a general emails which explains, so probably you get it, it's email with some pictures as well, which explains the overall process, okay? So uh, after the getting, the, uh, getting registered, you need to wait for the checking of the documents. As I mentioned earlier, you will soon start to get those who uh, approved, they will start to get the emails uh, saying, uh, the, uh, so with the unconditional offer. But there is some instruction also, which you need to follow up after you will get these emails, okay? So that's why starting from that say Tuesday morning, start to check your mailbox regularly. Probably you will not get this email immediately Tuesday, maybe later on, maybe Wednesday, maybe, maybe Thursday, because it will not come just to everybody in a moment. The system will send it one by one, one by one. So it will take some time. Okay, so please check it regularly. And once you get it, accurately read it. Okay, read what is written in this email and then follow up the instruction in this email. Okay, because there is some stages you need to go through. It is not you just get the email. You need to go and confirm the email. Okay, and after you need to go and do your scholarship. So that's why there is a stages. And okay, thank you. I understood the question. Okay. I answer. Okay, good. Thank good. you. Uh, anyone who would like to ask the live question? Please raise your hands, unmute and ask the question, if any. No? Sultan? Okay. Good afternoon. I good afternoon. Question. Yes. Uh, I have a question about scholarships. Okay. So uh, after receiving an unconditional offer, uh, you will get a chance to apply to Celebration Scholarship. Yes, exactly. 20 million and something. But back to the day, you were also talking about full scholarships, giving up to five of them. So I'd like to know more about them. What okay. are the conditions and when can I apply for them? 
Okay. Uh, let me check whether Noderbeck joined us. Uh, no, I didn't see him in the list. So probably because he's on a different meeting at the moment. So he promised to join us later. So let me then uh, reply to your question. Um, so Sultan, uh, so currently Noderbeck is uh, working with the companies in order to approve the procedure of uh, uh, applying and getting the scholarship from our partners. Okay. So as far as it is a matter of a money and the organization we are working with is like a big organization. It takes some time for them to approve it. So we draft now the policy and the, uh, like uh, the rules of uh, how to apply it and we passing to our partners, okay? They going through this procedure, they will check it, it will take some time, okay? And as soon as they will confirm, we will publish it. What we also doing, the Camilla now planning to take some uh, interviews from those company representatives. So they will give more information of, on how they planning to do this procedure. Yeah. So yeah. actually, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, someone needs to mute their microphone probably. Uh, okay, so. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, I see someone is raising the hand, but let me finish with a question from a Sultan. Okay. And then we will move to the next question. So Sultan, after uh, we will confirm it, first of all, it will be available on our uh, social networks. So probably there will be a separate forum. You will need to go there and, submit okay. and uh, apply for it. So you will need to fill the form. Okay. Once you fill in the form, there will be like a list of applicants. We will pass this information to this company, okay? If let's say you apply for one scholarship or for several scholarships. So we're passing this information. They will go with the internal procedure of a selection. So let's say they could ask, Sultan, you apply for the Capital Bank full scholarship. You need to provide this kind of a, uh, essay, let's say motivation letter. So this is the first stage. The next stage, you need to go through the interview or do some presentation or do some a small project and present us in a two days. So it could be different kind of uh, requirements. We don't know yet because it is on the side of our partner. As soon as they will announce, we will immediately pass the information to you. This is uh, not only you waiting for this information, we are as an institution also waiting for it because we face many questions and we want to answer to these questions, okay? So as soon as, and I hope this will happen within the next couple of weeks, we will have a more detailed information. So we will come back to you and to those who are interested with these details, okay? So there will be several of those companies. Yes, yes, yes. So far it's a two, but we're working to increase it and to make it more. Thank you. Okay. Uh, who else? I saw someone that was raising the hands, but they drop it. Who wants to ask yeah, the course. question? Hello, sir. Uh, yes. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, Bakhtiyor. Do you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have recently joined in your meeting and I would like to ask, uh, I need I a certificate like IELTS just for uh, just to uh, apply in your university. Just uh, because of current days, I cannot I cannot take a certificate. Okay. Or you have a you have an entire exam of IELTS. Okay. So Bakhtiyor, uh, as I understand, you are asking about yes. the you facing the difficulties of getting the IELTS exam and you are looking for alternative options. Am I right? Of course, yeah, yeah, okay. you're right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. So, look, yes, this is a frequently asking question, okay? So uh, what we uh -huh. propose uh -huh. to our students, not to wait for the face-to-face -face IELTS exam, okay? And look for the online uh -huh. options. Okay. 
Why? Because the, now what we see, the government now announcing that most probably the beginning of the August also will be announced as a quarantine. So this means face-to-face -face meetings will not be allowed, which puts the limitation on a helping arranging the face-to-face -face examination as well. Okay, so that's why, what is our option? You could see in our social networks, there is some advice we're publishing. One of the advice is a Duolingo, okay? This is the online exam. So you could register, you could go okay. through, and you, can, you could take your online exam, okay? Did I answer your okay. question? Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your eyes, your have, you have answered to me and my question. And I'd like to ask another question. Um, how much costs uh, study in your university for one year? Okay. So, Bakhtiar, and, probably you need and to also, Yes. And also, uh, because of quarantine, you, I, I cannot go to Tashkent and also study, like I've mentioned, face to face. And if I pass from the exam for your entire exam, how I will how I will be study? Uh, the the study will be online or the study will be after. Okay. So, Alan, would you like to join us? Hello. Hello. Yeah. So the, the question is, uh, Bakhtiar, could you please repeat your question? I uh, know I heard it. Ah, you heard it. Course. Okay, then, then please. Okay. Bakhtiar, whereabouts are you? Where are you living? Sorry, I cannot hear you. I live in Uzbekistan, I, sir. I know you're in Uzbekistan, but which part of Uzbekistan? Yes, of course. Thank you. Which city? In the Nam in Namagan City Fifth District. Are oh, you in Namagan? Okay. Well, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yes. I understand coronavirus has restrictions on travel. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you listening to me? Yeah, I, I'm listening to you. Just if your internet works, then in the first semester you may be able to study online, okay? Okay. But you will have to, how I much, suggest... How much it costs? It's the same price. And you know, uh, like I said now, because of quarantine, I cannot take uh, an IELTS test. And your uh, partner says that uh, I can uh, pass from the entire, of, entire exam of university in Duolingo app. And what about IELTS indicator? Yeah, can you take that's good. Thank you, Timur. Back to you. You can take some alternatives. Have a look at the website. All right, you have Duolingo, IELTS indicator. Joyful online as well. Back to you. Is your online working? Yeah, yeah, he's working. He's just uh, some delay, but you can you can continue, Alan. Yeah, thank you, Alan. Share. I'm asking back to you. Hello, back to you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we are planning to do online, as Alicia has said, for the first semester. This may not be the same experience as you wanted in terms of joining physically the university, but we will make it so that we'll try and engage not just, not just students in Tashkent, but also planning to work with our colleagues in London and try and find ways in which we can virtually link students and staff in London to those in Tashkent. So it may be a different experience. We hope from the new year, then we can bring students back. Okay, so I would suggest all of you apply because we all don't know exactly what's going to happen in September or October, okay? So it's best to apply. Okay, Mr. Okay. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Allen. Thank you for inviting us. Nice to see you back to you in Namagam. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Anyone else wants to ask the question? Okay, let me give me a chance to answer a question. Uh, a question. Yep. Someone said they worked for, graduated from Uzbek State World Language University. That's Jasur. Is he still on the line? And also, uh, uh, Jasur Achilov. I, I see want you, to Jasur. ask. Hello. I, I want to ask which 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 else core I need to take. Sorry, I'm just this line. Uh, well, it's on the website. Five point five is the minimum. Five point five. No, just no. Net networks very bad because I I couldn't hurt you. Networks very bad. Look on the website. It's all on the website. Five point five. Pet. And, pet. and also and and, and also uh, if I take a, a core five point five from your entire exam. Will I be studying your university or I have to take more than 5.5? You need to have 5.5 minimum. 5.5, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Bakhtia. You. Thank you. I've finished. Jasur, Jasur still here? Jasur Achilov? Uh, yes, he's online. Okay. Jasur, if, you've re if you, you have graduated from World State Languages with English, and you've been working with others, you have evidence, then you need to make sure you put that there. And my colleagues will judge whether you need to have IELTS or not. Okay. It's not obviously listening, but never mind. Everyone uh, else can. Okay, okay. Uh, so let me move to the other questions as well. So Jawahir Hussain Fask, uh, will internship uh, be paid? So okay. Jawahir, we are working with uh, uh, several uh, companies. Uh, some of them want uh, free internship. Uh, some of them ready to pay, but they will make a, a selection for the internship. So it's not uh, everybody. So our career center uh, will help with the students with the internship. So you will need to apply and then it will be selection so those who will pass through the selection, they will get the internship. And some of the internship, they will be paid. Bakhtiyor, please do not mute, uh, unmute yourself because it is quite noisy, okay? Uh, so let us move to the uh, next uh, question. Ziyoda sent me the message. How many partners do you have which can provide practicing of your students? So Ziyoda, we currently have about eight companies already, uh, but we put the target for ourselves for 50 companies, five zero, okay? 50 companies, uh, we want to make it until the end of the uh, first academic year. So uh, there will be more and more companies. So that's why you will have a range of a choice for your practices. So, and they will be from a very, very different areas. So it will, uh, uh, state organization, private one, big one, small one, so you will have a choice, the students will have a choice to go through the uh, range of options and practice to uh, see uh, which one is a uh, fit. Okay, uh, next question is from Hussan Ashur Ali. Uh, the coronavirus cases are increasing in Uzbekistan and restrictions are becoming harder. If the situation continues, will the team university proceed distance learning? If so, will the university cut the tuition fee? Okay, Hussan, uh, thank you for your uh, question. Actually, uh, we are quite uh, seriously uh, working over the scenario when we will start our first semester online. And actually, in order to prepare for online, uh, it is a uh, cost more than for the offline. 
Why? Because it requires a different infrastructure, a lot of investments in uh, training and development and material development. Okay? So that's why uh, the university not planning to do uh, the cost code, uh, co 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 cutting the price. So in this term, it is uh, not like a unique for team university. If you go through the worldwide, you will see that uh, majority of the universities, whether it's a popular big one like Harvard University, or it's a small state university in Uzbekistan, uh, or let's say it is uh, Singapore or Westminster or whatever. So all of them will keep the price the same even with the online. So that's why uh, the, uh, uh, so the, uh, your question is, process of a distance learning. Yes, we are preparing to go for the online distance learning on the first semester. And uh, in a tuition fee, uh, the price will not be cut. It, it is only the scholarship from uh, founders. Okay. Uh, the next, let me check whether uh, anyone raised their hands. So far, no. And then I'm going to the chat. So Jawahir Hussain, what are the programs Team University is offering? Okay. So Jawahir, first of all, you need to go to our website. Okay. There you could find the information uh, more in more details. So the first year is a foundation. So it's a general program. And from the second level or from a second year, uh, it will be a selection of a courses. So uh, business management, business management with the marketing, uh, business management with the digital uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. And also another one, which is uh, currently under the development is uh, um, tourism and hospitality as well. So uh, the students will have a chance to choose any or out of the available courses by the end of their first year study. So you should not choose now. You will study those who will join the team. They will study the first year. And at the end of this year, they will have a timeline when they will need to make their choice. So that's why uh, you could look to our website. You could find the information over there. And then the choice, uh, to make a choice, you will still have uh, some time. Okay. Uh, let me see if anyone raising their hands. Who wants to ask life question? Alan, do you want to ask the life question? Unmute. We can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Hello, yes. everyone. I just want to add because you will be joining the British system which is three years, not four years. So your first year is part of the more like the Uzbek system. It's a foundation year. All international universities do four years. UK system is three. That's why Alice says you choose it at the end of your first year. You do a foundation at the beginning of the first year. So you have a chance to think about what you would like to do and see what you're good at. And then you can make a choice after your first year. Everybody wants to change their mind after about one year. So it's good to have that opportunity. Okay. Thank you, Alan. Um, there was someone, can I, can I answer a question? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, okay. I think we all, someone says, Malika says, I think we also will study online. I think you're right, Malika. Well, let's see what happens. You never know. Uh, the other one is about IELTS. IELTS is an important qualification, but there are other qualifications for English. You have to, as I said before, and it's on the website, achieve a minimum of 5.5. And if you've got 5.5 or, or an equivalent on Duolingo or on other qualifications we recognize, then you're able to enter the university. So I think that's a couple of people who said about the IELTS qualification. Uh, Lufthalo says about 6.5. Well done. I'm sure you'll be able to do. Isaac says, is it possible to skip the foundation course? Not really. The foundation course is 
a very important year. It helps you understand how to learn in the British system. It improves your ability to understand academic English and thinking skills, and also to be able to become a good student so that you understand the regulations of the university. It's not possible usually to miss it. If you've done a foundation somewhere before, then we will consider it, but not for this year, for next year. Okay. So for this well, year, no one is able to miss, miss it. Okay, there is some question which I think you will be better to uh, ans uh, answer, uh, but they sent privately to me, so they said probably you, can you can't see it in the general chat. So Siona is asking, can you describe future of your team university? Alan, could you please describe to Zioda okay. future of a team? Zioda, Zioda, that's a very interesting question. I'm going to start one year back, not in the future. And Alisha and I have worked together for many years and we've worked with Zafar and with Hikmat and with Musafa and the other founders. And we all discussed many years ago, maybe two years ago, the development of a new entrepreneurial university. And this is it. So it's taken about a year, maybe more, to develop our thinking. And so this thinking has led us to establish team. And so we didn't establish it just for one year or two years. This is forever. And team is the first entrepreneurial university in Uzbekistan. And it's one of the first privately funded. It's got an interesting future. It's independent of the government. It's backed by the London South Bank University. It's engaged with entrepreneurs and it's into interesting areas such as digital marketing and hospitality and tourism. We're going to have postgraduate courses, master's courses in the future. We'll develop our research so that people can get engaged in that. And of course, we have lots of practice, as Alisha has said, with internships with companies. So the future for team is one where we want to make a difference, to change, to change the whole philosophy and approach in Uzbekistan so that we can get engaged in moving Uzbekistan from its past to its future. But we also recognize the past because remember, Uzbekistan was part of the Silk Road. That's a very important point. Lots of philosophers and academics were there. They also were business people. The Silk Road was based on entrepreneurship. Let's make Uzbekistan the future and team is part of that by educating and graduating people I see on my laptop now, all 30 of you. So I hope that you will be in part of this future and in 50 years time, you'll reflect back and go, that was a great time 2020, despite coronavirus. So let's go for it. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Alan. So let me come back to the uh, questions in the chat. Some of the participants, they are sending me privately so let me just go quickly through it. Uh, Nari Mont. Uh, well, send, you send them privately to, to Alicia, privately to me. Send me one. <laughs> okay. So Nari Mon, uh, asking the question. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Alisher. I'm successfully registered. I got Duolingo certificate overall 100 and honored diploma from a college. Will I be team students? Uh, Narimon, uh, yes, with this kind of uh, criteria, if you apply and you get the confirmation that your application is uh, uh, accepted, so please wait for the uh, emails which will start to go from our system uh, next week. Uh, I mentioned at the very, very beginning that starting from the uh, late Monday, starting from the Monday and the Tuesday, our system uh, will go for uh, sending unconditional offers. So please regularly check your email box uh, and those applicants who successfully pass through the check, uh, they will get unconditional offers, but please carefully read the message because it requires some follow-up steps of a confirmation and then application for a scholarship. 
Okay, uh, thank you. Next one is, uh, I think we will study online, Malika. Yes, I'll uh, reply to this uh, question, answer it to you. Uh, Sherzot Alimov asking, uh, you said that I should confirm that I'm gonna get my IELTS. How I can prove it if there is no form for it? Sherzot, if you register for the, for the IELTS exam, normally you have a notification from the uh, IELTS center that you are registered for the certain day. Okay, normally we're asking the students to screen it and uh, uh, upload it instead of an IELTS certificate. So we could see that you registered, okay? Uh, the second question, I apply and entered all info and choose no in IELTS asking section. So I'm added uh, to any kind of a list which have uh, more privilege than other party. Look, uh, Sherzot, as I said you, as far as you register, but you indicate you don't have IELTS, we separately contacting. So let's say our uh, call center starting from the day before yesterday, start to call all these students who indicate they don't have IELTS. And we are giving you individual advice how to not to wait physical IELTS, but go for the alternative option, okay? So Sherzot, this is, uh, as I mentioned, a uh, chance for you to get the uh, advice from us how to deal in this kind of a difficult situation when the IELTS physical exam always postponed. Uh, next question is from Big Zot. He sent it me privately. I have a question. It is written in a website that the first year student will get 20 million 650,000 scholarship. Is it true? Yes, Big Zot, if we state it, it is true. Uh, so you need to apply for it. You need to meet the criteria uh, and then you will get the scholarship. So out of the 59 million, those who get the scholarship, you minus this amount and out of the uh, final amount, which is a 38 million, 350,000, you pay 50% for the first semester. Okay. Uh, yes, Alan. Well, no, it's fine. It'll be finished. Oh, no, there is uh, some more. No, can I just say, I want to thank Timor because Timor's answering some of our questions. So, oh. Timor, well done. Well done. Thank you very much indeed. I'm, 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 I'm impressed because you're telling people to go to our website because most of our information is on there. So, if you've got a question about grants, scholarships, exams, as, as Timor has said, then please go to the website. So... I want more, more of you like Timor, okay? So great, Timor, well done, mate. That's, um, I'm good of you. Uh, thank you, Timor, as well. Yes, uh, helping us to uh, reply to the questions flowing in. Uh, so uh, if anyone would like to ask a live question, I see there is a, a Big Zot raising his hand. So Big Zot, can you go ahead with the asking the question? Please unmute yourself and go ahead with the question. Okay, my name is Big Zot and I have applied to the team university uh, the second week is so two weeks ago and how uh, when I can uh, know my results about uh, if, uh, whether I uh, uh, how to say um, I will be the, you know, the student of uh, team okay. or not. Okay, I got your question. Uh, thank you. Uh, you also yeah, send a, in the chat as well. Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned, so Monday, we will draw the first line, okay? We already have a lot of application. So now our admission team is checking one by one each of the application, checking the documents, okay? And they are like making the list of a approved one, but this approved one needs to be approved by the uh, admission board. It's a board which is joining together. They're going all through the list. They're checking all the details, uh, what was done with uh, admission officers, and then they approve it. After they approve it, this list going to the, uh, our uh, team who will start to send unconditional offers. So Big Zot, starting, uh, I hope from the uh, late Monday or Tuesday morning, the system will start to send those applicants uh, unconditional offers. So please regularly check your email box, okay? And uh, once you uh, receive it, please carefully read the message, okay? Because there is uh, some steps you will need to do in order to 
uh, approve it. Did I answer your question? Yes, you have answered well. And the last question, how many uh, students uh, apply to the team university and how many uh, out of this number uh, will, get, will be the student? Okay, Alan, would you like to answer? Unmute. Sorry, Begzab, I was reading some questions. What was your question, Begzab? Okay, how many students apply to the team university and how many out of that number uh, will be the students of the team university? Well, I, I don't know the full number, but there probably we now have probably 1,600 uh, applications. Uh, perhaps Alicia can confirm it, but of which when we have to check them to make sure people have not put Donald Trump or Mickey Mouse or Yi Ping or whatever, um, or put their friend's photograph up as their own, then we're down to about 700, 800 who have uploaded their documents. And some of the documents won't be very good or some of them are missing. So we'll still have to check them or they're not the right level. So they'll be disappointed. So we're probably now looking at about 200, 200 of those 1,600 who have got the right qualifications. That's only after about five or six days. So we've got another six weeks. Well, our target, our target is 500. And if we reach 500 before the end, we might have to say no to people because we could be full. So it's best to get in early and to get your applications processed early so that you secure your place. Remember, it's minimum 5.5 in IELTS or equivalent. Okay? Okay. So, okay, do you understand? So... If you're now thinking you've got chance to do it, but if you came back in the middle of September, we may be full. Okay, so we're okay. looking at 500. You understand? Okay. Yes, I understood. Thank you so, for response. Thank you, Vexar. Thanks for a good question. Can I, can I take an opportunity? There's a couple of more questions about skipping the foundation. Look, it's difficult, this one. Um, your foundation is a foundation. It's an important year. None of you can join this year without doing the foundation. We have to run the foundation because it's the start of the, of, the, of the university. The UK degree programs will not start until next year because they're three-year courses. So those of you who are thinking you don't want to do the foundation, think hard and think more than twice because we know we, we are from... Uh, Alicia, myself, Alexei, we have had many years of doing this and we know the students who miss the foundation, they generally don't do very well. So they tend to fail and you waste your money. So the foundation is like an investment. If you do the foundation and you get a scholarship, remember there's a scholarship for foundation, there may not be a scholarship for doing a degree next year. So you can get your scholarship now and prove to us in their first year on the foundation that you're a really good student and then you'll get another scholarship for the next year. So remember, scholarships are for this year and the scholarships next year more than likely will be based upon your performance at foundation. So if you miss it, you miss the opportunity of a scholarship. So actually, it might be cheaper doing the foundation in the long run than missing it. Work out the maths. If you want to join in the entrepreneurial university, this is your chance to be entrepreneurial. Think about the risks. The risks of not doing the foundation means you might fail. The risks of not doing the foundation means you might not get a scholarship. The benefits of the foundation means you're gonna succeed and get a chance above others. So I think there's two or three questions about that. So for the moment, only foundation is offered. So you'll have to wait a year in any case. So the best thing is to join us now. Okay, back over to Alicia. Alicia, over to you. Yes, uh, 
So I'm observing the uh, comments. Some of them comes to me privately. Um, uh, so Jawa Hirisaifa is asking, sorry, can I know when I received the answer from a team university? So Jawa we just explain, please, uh, if you applied and you get the confirmation that your document is uh, uh, completed, please check your regular notes from that Tuesday. Um, I, think, I think Timor can answer this one because he's been listening to everyone. Timor could answer the same question. Yeah, Is yeah, that yeah. Right, Timor? I'm sure you know the answer. Same with the rest of them. Carry oh. on. Uh, Mehreddin asked if the team university require a high level of the mask from uh, applicants. Uh, Mehreddin, we are not putting any requirements specific on the subject area so far. So that's why this year uh, just uh, uh, appropriate level of uh, English and we hope that your uh, uh, level of uh, you, your your marks in your attestat will be not that bad uh, to, to accept you. Uh, okay, Farouk, how will the entering exam be conducted? Thank you, Farouk. No entering exam. Uh, and by the law mention it. Thank you by the law as well. Mehreddin, uh, yes, there will be a provide scholarship from the second year. Uh, yes, we will have a, a diverse program of a scholarship and it will be linked with the students' performance. So we want those students who perform better, not only academically, but also in uh, their social activities, they will be granted with uh, more scholarships. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Lutfilo, your question was addressed and Alan already replied to you. So <clears throat> by uh, skipping the first year, you are risking uh, on your uh, admission in a, for the second level, as well as not to get the scholarship. So maybe you will first you will save on the first year, but you will lose on the later on. Um, we so, have some right hands here. Yes, 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 Camila. Can can I add him? Yes, please. So, hello. I have had one question for you, Kadisha. Yes, please. Yes, you are saying that I should somehow define that I'm going to get an IELTS result, but uh, where is the form to upload my uh, British Council email to confirm that I'm going to get an IELTS? Uh, look, uh, Big Zot, uh, I, I'm not sure uh, if you apply already, uh, then there is. Yeah, already applied. Okay, but did you upload your IELTS certificate? No, I have not already got my IELTS certificate, but I'm gonna get it in August. Okay, okay. So look, uh, what we suggested, because this question was raised uh, several weeks before as well for, by applicants, uh, we suggested to make a screen of your registration for the IELTS and upload it as a, uh, instead of IELTS. So when the check, uh, checking will go through it, they will see that you don't have IELTS yet, but you have uh, registered for it, okay? Mm -hmm. So then uh, you will be like uh, separately communicated because we see the timeline is squeezing, not much time left for the uh, end of uh, admission. So that's why we personally, uh, call, uh, using our call center, approaching those students and advising them to look for the alternatives, okay? So that's why uh, you can go uh, or you can send the um, request to the uh, email or through the social networks. So our team will get in contact with you and they will provide you in the personal how or what should you do as a follow-up steps, okay? Okay. So I should resubmit the form and uh, in IELTS section, I should upload the uh, confirmation about getting IELTS. Uh, yeah, this will be like a later on. Okay. Uh, some of our Hello. participants unmute yourself. So, Fatullo, do you want to ask the question? Yes, I got a question. Okay. Now, 
now I have got an IELTS indicator band and is it possible for your university de demands? Actually, I want to know. Uh, so as I understand your question is you get your IELTS indicator result and you yeah. want to apply to our university. Am I right? Yes. And will you require me again to test, to pass the test? I mean, not online one, just a real one, the IELTS test. Uh, will you require me? when no. I'm studying in the future? No. Uh, if you get your uh, IELTS indicator, for us it's important to know that you have a, a minimum level of uh, English proficiency uh, in order to be able to get the materials during the academic year. So that's why if your IELTS indicator indicates that you have a minimum 5.5 and in the writing component it is a 5, uh, minimum, so you uploading it. There is no any further later internal or external proof is necessary. So you don't need any other exams to uh, pass later on. Okay. Actually, you mean my IELTS indicator band is enough for your university? Yeah. Yeah. If it's a minimum uh, five point five, yeah. and writing component five. Yes, it's uh, enough. This is enough. No problem, I got 6.5 then, and oh, it's enough okay. for me. Nice, nice, yeah, that's enough. And now, my second question. Uh, will you offer any job? Uh, I mean, uh, I just watched some videos uh, relating to university advertisement, and um, I just got some information about offering some new jobs for your students when they graduate the university. Okay. Yeah. So for, for law, uh, if you are talking about the employment, uh, so in a state universities, what is the practice? You are studying, let's say, four years, and after you graduate, then you start to look for the job. In uh, our university, we will promote students to look for the, uh, let's say, part time job uh, starting, let's say, from the uh, second year of a study at least. Uh -huh. This means that during your study you will already have a chance uh, ex uh, to have a part-time job. Plus, during a study, we will visit many companies. So you will have a chance to meet with the many people, with many, many uh, businesses, owners, managers. So you will be able to sell yourself. Let's say our career center will help you to do this as well. So what we are doing as a strategy, it is not after the completion of the study, you starting for the job, but during the study, you already preparing and you already have some part-time job. So after you graduated, you already like a, a or employee or you as, have already some kind of a, your own business. Okay? okay. Yes. Okay. And the uni will the university offer us working travel program uh, okay. maybe to the USA or London maybe okay uh, Camila would you like to answer it uh, yes sure uh, regarding work and travel uh, program right now uh, US is quite close for any foreign students and uh, foreigners at all. That's why we do, we do not guarantee uh, that you will participate in work and travel, but uh, as we have a partner in US, in UK and in future, we are planning to get more partners uh, all over the world. So I think we can offer you some other exchange programs instead mm -hmm. of uh, Work and travel, am I right, and Shaka? Uh, yes, yes. We what? Yes, Alan. Okay, no, I, I just answered one, Camilla, about that, so I'll just repeat it. <clears throat> there will be exchanges, may not not just with UK. The problem is the UK and the USA have uh, quite strong visa regulations, so we may be looking at other countries as much as we would look at the UK. I know it sounds quite exciting to go to the UK and the USA, but it's also quite expensive. But I know about the work and travel that students from Westminster and others used to do for many years. They had great times working in Subway, 
McDonald's, right? Burger King. That's good. I, I, I like it. I would do the same. But at team, we want to have some different types of jobs inside Uzbekistan. So working in Subway, cleaning the floors, serving sandwiches, filling sandwiches is good experience. But, you know, perhaps there might be better opportunities. So we want to look for some of those that can build your career. But, you know, okay, I used to do it as a student. I used to cook beef burgers. Great, but, you know, here I am in Uzbekistan. So let's see. I didn't make my life cooking beef burgers. So there will be opportunities, but let's see how they go on in the next year. Okay. And will I be a participant um, if I am the first year student uh, for the working travel program, I mean? Or will, uh, or will I be the second year student uh, if I want to be participant to working travel program? Which one? Is it possible for uh, from the first year student? You know, the work and travel program has got really nothing to do with universities. You know, work and travel is actually completely independent. It has nothing to do with universities. And we really are not in a position to say anything about work and travel. Actually, it's an American government private initiative. So the universities don't, don't really organize it. And we cannot organize it. Uh, we may say you're a student of the university, but really, to be honest, it's up to you, the work and travel organizers, because the university has nothing to do with it. So it is completely independent. So I'm afraid your questions we cannot really answer. Okay, you'll have to check with work and travel, work and travel, the organization, and maybe ask President Trump not to ban Uzbek students from going to America, which has got nothing to do with the university. And if I okay. was there, I wouldn't vote for him. So, however, do you understand? I'm just, I'm just wondering about one thing is that I, I'm really interested in going abroad, but right okay. now it's just quarantine and I cannot go anywhere. And so I'm, how can I say, I had to, I just had to uh, yeah. ap apply for this university and go, I want to just go abroad near the future after the quarantine, yeah. I mean. So I'm Fatula. just... Fatula, I think you're about what? 18, 19, 20? Fatula. Sorry? How old are you? How old are you, Fatula? Okay, Fatula's about 18 and 19. I'm 69. I want to go, but I want to go travel. Okay. Fatula, you have lots of chance to travel. Believe me, you've got 10, 15, 20 years ahead of you. You can go anywhere you like. Just be a bit patient. Um, actually, you are advising me to graduate this university and yes. maybe after that, yes. yeah, for the master's degree, I may go abroad, you mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Good idea, Fatula. Look, Fatula, I recommend stay in Uzbekistan. You might be able to go and travel, but do your undergraduate, finish it. And tell you what, after which you can go anywhere. It doesn't, I, you know, I, bet, I think you're thinking four years, oh, that's a long while. I've been in Uzbekistan 18 years. It doesn't seem like one year. Time flies by. So when you're 22, you can decide where you want to go. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, Germany, Japan, you know. You can go anywhere. I, I work with my graduates and they've been all over the place and they're only 30. 30 is still young. It's a child. So you've got lots of opportunities. So just take it easy. Okay. Don't get frustrated. Focus on your, focus on your next three to four years. Do really well. And then the world is yours. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Take a um, breath. Other participants who want to ask the question as well. I see uh, Kodarhon and uh, Shahob uh, of Bigzot raise their hands. So uh, the first in the list is uh, uh, Bigzot Shahobov. So please, Bigzot, could you unmute yourself and ask your question? 
Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Bexot from Samarkand. And I have a question. Well, uh, first, my English uh, is uh, virtually fluent, but um, my Russian is quite bad. Uh, so uh, is it uh, really needed for students to know Russian fluently uh, to study in team university? Okay. Нет, can I speak? <laughs> yes. Okay. Can I be sure? Нет. По-русски нет. По-русски английски. Oh, no, that's okay. So you don't have to speak Russian. You can speak Russian, but you don't have to have it to study. You need English. Okay. Yes. So, because so the English is uh, necessary for you to study. It's good. Uh, you have uh, Uzbek as well. Uh, but in a university, as an extracurricular, if the students will want to improve their Russian language as well, uh, for sure yeah. we will provide some clubs who will uh, do some uh, uh, Russian uh, talking clubs. So for those students who want to improve their language, they themselves or by, uh, 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 let's say, someone externally, they could organize extracurricular clubs. It will not be only for the Russian, Uzbek, or English. It will be others, let's say, someone wants to learn Spanish, or Italian, or French. So it will be different clubs. And based on your interest, uh, you could uh, improve your language uh, proficiency during a studying in a team university. So that's why uh, do not uh, like uh, stress yourself on the uh, lack of a uh, Russian language, uh, so you will have a chance. It's good that, that you are paying attention for it, and you see it is uh, one of the important thing. Yes, the language is good for communication, and uh, when you will be, let's say, in a Tashkent, you will see that in a Tashkent many people communicate not only in Uzbek but also in uh, Russian as well, as well as the people who are doing the business. Why? Because they're doing the business uh, internationally, so that's why they are quite uh, having a range of uh, languages. So you will have a chance to improve it as well. Any other okay. questions? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mister. Uh, but uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, it uh, will it be needed for me if I will be an entrepreneur in the future? I mean, Russian. Yes, Alan. Hello, Begzot. Uh, another language, Alicia says, learn another language. Well, the best one here is to learn Russian. I think any business entrepreneur needs more than one language. Actually, if, do, you, do you know Tajik, is it? Tajik or Uzbek? Okay, Begzot, I suppose from Samarkand you might know Tajik. Farsi, Farsi, Balade. Any case. You need another language. All of you need more than one language, whether it's Russian, Uzbek, French, German. It's always good as business people to know more than one language. I only know one language, English. I know a little bit of Uz Uzbek and a little bit of Russian. But you really do need to be successful in the next generation to have a, an, an, a, an array of languages, okay? So that you're okay. able to... Yeah, so Begzod, take the opportunity to learn Russian. It's easier here than it is somewhere else. Can I add something, Alan? Yeah, go on, Camila. Uh, so I, I just want to share with you my own experience. When I was a student, uh, so I, I was studying in Russian university, but we had a lot of uh, classmates who don't know Russian, who don't know English, or who uh, don't know Uzbek even, they speak uh, Tajik, as Alan mentioned. So during the four year studies, uh, we all have, um, as it was a diversity of students, uh, uh, in the end, on the first uh, course, everybody was uh, speaking a bit of Russian, a bit of English, a bit of Uzbek, and even Tajik. So I think as soon as you will become a student, student in team university uh, maybe in two or three years you will be fluent in russian or maybe in some other uh, language for example as our rector mentioned if we will have uh, for example spanish language club 
possibly you will learn even more languages than you are planning right now. And yes, to be an entrepreneur, um, it, it's necessary to speak several languages because it would be easier for you to communicate with the, um, international partners maybe in future with the colleagues if you will work in international team so don't worry about this you have enough time to learn new language and i hope we will help you with this am i right yeah, yeah. yes thank you, Camila. okay so i see that big uh you drop your hand i hope you will answer all your question and now yes mr uh, but uh, I have one more question. Okay, okay, go ahead with your question. Okay, uh, well, uh, just uh, just before you said that uh, I shouldn't stress for Russian and so, and I need your uh, personal opinion. Well, uh, what would you recommend me uh, to learn uh, before entering the team university? For example, nowadays I'm preparing methods and Russian, but uh, you said Russian is not so necessary. Uh, what would you recommend instead of Russian? So look, uh, you need to make a priority list, okay? So I see that inside you are like uh, feeling the pressure of not knowing the Russian. So that's why it is important for you now, okay? Then make a priority list. And it is also interest uh, of your future like a move. If you are planning to move, let's say, to the Asian side, so in Asia, uh, you need to know Chinese and the English, okay? If you yeah. are planning to move to the more CIS countries, you need to know Russian and English, okay? If you are planning to go more international, uh, like a European one, it is uh, more English. If you are planning to move to the, let's say, uh, the American, there is a Spanish and the... <laughs> English. So it depends on the, which side you like internally is uh, wants to move. So based on it, you will make like a, a priority list. Uh, if you now have a time and prepare yourself, okay, make a Russian first, right? Because if you are planning to come to Tashkent and study here, so you will see a lot of people communicating Russian as well. Even you will not speak, you need to understand them. So let's say they will talking something on, in Russian because we will have uh, some uh, speakers who will come to us doing some master classes and some of them will be delivered in Russian as well. So what I'm recommending you, okay, go ahead and like uh, watch Russian movies or listen some Russian speech. So this will help you improve your mind, understand the Russian language, okay? Later okay. on, you will start to move to the speaking exercise. So you will start after the understanding of Russian, you will go into the speaking the Russian. So, and then later on, so you will see, oh, I want to improve my Chinese or I move, I want to move some other languages. So during the life we are learning, let's say I'm sometimes thinking, oh, should I start to learn, learn some French, okay? Or uh, some Spanish. So that's why it is like a, during your lifetime, you will have a, a different moments when you see, oh, probably I need another language. But learning the language just to learn is not a, like a wise. If you need really to use this language, then you're learning it because you spend some time. This is an effort. You take it seriously. You need to motivate yourself. But if it's just, oh, I have a free time, nothing to do. Let me learn the language. I think there is a more exercise you can learn. You can study some other areas which is a more practical. Okay? Did okay. I answer the Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Big zone. Odorhan, you drop your hand, but if you want to ask the question, please go ahead now. <coughs> Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How do you do? I'm fine. Okay. Well, uh, my question is that well, first year is foundation, yes? Yes. Uh, is it something brand new? No, I mean, I'd like to uh, give, uh, if you go to the Westminster University, also there is a uh, foundation and it's like a, uh, is it similar to each other or it's something brand new that you, uh, you will give us? 
first year study and then what things included in okay why i'm giving alan <laughs> oh, hi <clears throat> hello colin on yeah it is a it is different that yes foundations there are lots and lots of foundation courses well the most foundation courses focus on english maths and some subjects now okay. the foundation team is being built differently it's mostly focused on your soft skills your ability to communicate the ability to work in teams the ability to be able to create things independently to do research as well as to improve your language and communication skills in english wow. so it's it's different a lot more is on as a foundation building your skills up ability to actually work and study in english and also to study at a uk university level now it's similar but it's not the same um other foundation courses including you mentioned westminster focus on some subject knowledge but we found that the subject knowledge you can learn it into the first or the second year so you must get prepared you must be in a position where you understand and you'll be working and also have opportunities for internships with entrepreneurial activity so the focus is on entrepreneurial activity practice based research exploring and creating rather than sitting learning or sitting listening and repeating okay so you're not going to sit and listen and repeat you will have to be in a position where you will have to understand what to do and how to do it yourself so it's gaining more independence so the foundation is different and it's been built by some of my colleagues who have had 20 years experience and they want to do something different okay yeah so it's quite different yeah why i'm giving this question uh while the people's uh build or set up or establish the new universities they want to change or they want to uh how to say it give something brand new give something new so i give such question that uh is it will be something different or you just copy from the else uh or in a london you said it sounds like uh, university. yeah uh, Listen, we can't copy we don't copy that's a good point no we don't copy we're obviously using some of the things look we've learned some things we know about blended learning so we know now about the value and benefits of online learning so we now are being able to use that and more creatively than we have done before to be honest teaching staff and universities tend to do the same thing every year right they do the same thing as easy but team has given us the opportunity as a group of people to do something different and some of it will be the same but some most of it is is different and it's different than what you will see in other foundation programs uh, i think the curriculum's on the website and i'm not going to go through it because i don't know the detail in such but the curriculum will be on the website for you to understand but it's been designed from the bottom up it's not it's not um it's not an old daewoo car made into an exia right it's it's a new program it's a different program you see at westminster mdis in our or anybody else okay okay yeah. and uh alice i have to be going soon so yeah, if there's any i also have to, have to be going i have a next meeting in a okay. nine I see the Narimon is raising his hand, so let him uh, to ask the question, and then probably we will complete today open door event. Narimon, go ahead. Narimon, where's Narimon? Hello, Narimon. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, here is my question: uh, When the students gonna get their uh, first unconditional letter? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So uh, I mentioned several times today already. So yeah, I do. Will be started distributing starting from the late <coughs> late Monday. So only few days left. Please hold. Please wait. Okay, patiently. 
And I hope uh, starting from the Tuesday, you will start to get the uh, mails to your mailbox. So please check it regularly. It will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So every day, the system will start to send the letters who is approved uh, to be accepted uh, to the team universities, okay? <coughs> to the team university. So applicants who are accepted. Okay, thank you, Mr. Okay, uh, I, I have another interesting. And, uh, I've uh, got uh, dwelling the certificate. Please repeat, I didn't hear it, Nariman. Nariman. Uh, I've got the dwelling the certificate uh, overall a uh, hundred. Okay. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. So you got your Duolingo 100? Uh, overall 100, and the I've and I have uh, a diploma from college, honor diploma, and will yeah. I be the student of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Narimo, probably you was offline. I already answered to you this question. You, you send it to the chat. So you, uh, you were offline. So yes, uh, Narimon, this is a, a good indicator. So the Duolingo minimum 90, you got 100. And if it's uh, even own honor diploma, so and you apply and got confirmation that you uh, application accepted. So now please wait, as I mentioned. So in a few days, the system will start to distribute unconditional offers and we hope you will get it soon as well. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Uh, Dada, yes. Sorry for cutting. Uh, I have got uh, like uh, the same question, the guy, and uh, I have already registered the, uh, your uh, team. You understand? But I haven't received yet uh, Duolingo results. Okay. So what would happen? It the, you they would send or not? Or after uh, that? I uh, so they put it into action. Yep. So look, uh, Father Juan, so you already, if you submit it, so as soon as the Duolingo result will be available to you, mm -hmm. uh, it will be also available to us as well. So what I am recommending you, uh, as soon as you will get the result, please contact our admission uh, office, okay, through the social network or through the email, uh, informing them that my Duolingo result is uh, uh, published because if you indicate the team university as a uh, holder of the, your result, uh, we will get the notification from the Duolingo that Father Juan get his Duolingo with this level of a result. Okay, and then we can link it with your application and then it should go through the approval and then you will, uh, after they approved, you will get your uh, unconditional offer. Okay, to cut a long story short, so there is no need uh, to wait to wait a second wave. Yes. No, no, you you don't. If you already made an application, you indicate uh, that you don't have IELTS, but you submit for Duolingo. So just wait for the result, and this, just to make sure we get this email as well. Contact us. And uh, they will check and they say, okay, Father Juan, yeah, we see the result. So now wait until we will check, confirm, and then uh, you will get the unconditional, I hope. Okay, thank you. Okay, we left with the four much. minutes. Uh, yeah, we have to go. Uh, thank you very much for many questions. Um, I have just the one question which was sent to me. I think it was a privately. Sarvar Mirat Hamov sent me the question. Can I organize my own business in the first year? Uh, will you permit for that? Or will you give some help for that? Okay, Sarvar. So uh, the first semester, most probably there will be quite a limited because most probably will be online and actually the students who just starting their study we will recommend you focus more on the study but later on 
okay? You will be more confident with your study already. So you will feel yourself, okay, I know how the university works. I know what is required for me. I can plan my time. I can plan my workload for the study in order not to fail. And then you can allocate some of your time for the uh, other activities, including developing your own business. And for sure, university will help you. So you could approach me personally or someone in the university and we will give you some of the advice, okay? So I'm trying to answer quite shortly because we are limited in the time. So uh, the university in this, from the second year will develop a business incubator and uh, this business incubator will, will help for the uh, many students to start their businesses or to turn their idea into some business project, okay? So thank you very much to everybody who joined uh, this today Open Door event. Uh, we really enjoy your question and talking with you live. And we hope uh, we will have more chances. Special thanks to the Timur, okay? And uh, those who help us with the answering in a, a chat. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you for, uh, uh, for the, I see here is uh, Timur was uh, quite active and I see some of the students decided to open a uh, chat, but uh, I'm reminding you this is uh, not a formal chat. So if someone's spreading some uh, information which is uh, not approved by Tim University, okay, be careful. So please go uh, in order to check any information to our uh, website or our social networks. So please approach us and we will uh, immediately come back to you. Uh, thank you very much for all your questions and I hope we will keep in touch. Please contact us through our social networks. We really enjoy see and listen and hear you. And I uh, would like to ask to please take care of yourself and your close one, your family members. It's a difficult time, but I'm sure we will go through these difficult times and we will become even stronger and better. Okay, have a good uh, weekend and enjoy your time. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.